Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Made With Love by Sarah. So what we're going to do today is make these little gift card pouches. So you open and the gift card slides in and out with the, with the pouch. This one I've got a gift card. It's not a gift card, it's a fridge magnet actually, but it, it slides up and down with the pouch. It's got a Velcro fastening. And it's plain on the back with the happy birthday sentiment or have a bir fabulous birthday sentiment. So that's what we're going to make today. We're going to make it in a little bit different paper. So let's just pop them to one side and I'll run through what you need for this project. So we need a piece of plain paper, nine and three eighths by five inch. We need a piece of pattern paper, which is three and a quarter by four and seven eighths. And I've just rounded off the bottom two corners. If it's a directional paper, you need to round these at the top, this piece. So this piece is three and three quarters by four and seven eighths with the top two corners rounded. For our next piece, three and three quarter by two and five eighths. And for this last piece, it's three and three quarters by two inches. And this time I've rounded the bottom two corners. So on the three and three quarters by two inch round the bottom two corners. So let's just move them to one side and get our scoreboard. And on this first piece of plain paper, we need to score we need to score at two and seven eighths so it's just the line before so you've got three inches the line before we need to score so i'm just pressing lightly but scoring three times otherwise you can rip your paper and i'm also need seven and one eighth so it's the seven inch line and it's the line after seven so that's seven and one eighth and again i'm going to press it quite lightly but score a few times just to squash the fibers in the card to make it fold better down the short side so the five inch side we need to score at half an inch i'm just going to do that again because I think I went out with the line at the bottom and four and a half inches. So that's our first piece. On this pattern piece that's three and three quarters by four and seven eighth, we've got our corners rounded at the bottom, so we're going to score at the bottom. Got our corners rounded at the top, sorry. So we've got our top corners rounded and at the bottom we score at half an inch and three and a half inches. Let's get rid of our scoreboard because that's it for our scoring. So we're going to fold and burnish our score lines. So that one's ready, so we'll just put that to one side. And let's fold, fold and burnish these score lines.
giving them a real good squash down making sure that the edges are together now we need to do some cutting so with the smaller section at the bottom this one is larger this one's the smaller one so I'm going to cut up this score line but I'm going to cut on this side of the score line and that gets rid of the bulk so we're going to cut all the way up to the second score line and then we're going to cut a little wedge off these tabs off this tab so and you see the piece that i've cut off i've still got the score line on it but i've gone right up to it so let's do the same on the other side cutting on this side this time of the score line getting rid of all our bulk we need to make it as neat as we can if you've got a trimmer you can use the trimmer and stop at this second score line I haven't got one so I'm just going to cut it with scissors and cut the little wedge off so we end up with this I'm just going to cut that a little bit better. Oh god, that's straighter. So we end up with with this with our tabs on one section, smaller section, middle. This is going to be our fold up piece. So we need to I'm just going to give these tabs a bit, a bit more of a burnish. I'm going to stick it with red liner tape. To make it nice and secure. So I'm just going to put my red liner tape on each of the tabs. Why does crafting make your desk so messy? And there's the end. There, cut that off. And we need to pick off our... What you can do to make it a bit easier is give that a good burnish. Make sure you've got all the air bubbles out. Then pull off the backing tape. And we fold it over. Making sure it's all square. And give it a push down. So this is our top flap, I'm going to round off the corners on the... Well that was hard work. So we've got the corners cut, now we need to stick in our middle piece. So this piece, this bottom piece that we've folded over, is actually holds our gift card in there and then as this pulls up and down it pulls the card gift card with it so we need to pop this in and this top tab here pop, put glue on when we've opened our glue put the glue on and stick it to the top Making sure we've got a nice 
border all the way around. Making sure the border's matching. Give it a little squish with our bone folder. So what we're doing, we're spreading out the glue uh, and making sure that it's adhered to every part. So now when this goes down, the paper goes in and out and the gift card will come out with it. So let's get this bottom bit decorated. I've cut this piece of paper just to go on the front. Making sure we've got a nice border all the way around. And this piece is for the top. Stick that on. And there we go. There's our gift card holder. So we'll just put a couple of decorations on it. I've got this sentiment that says, Happy birthday. I've got a piece of um, the same yellow card that I've made. And it depends on what sentiment you use as to how big it is but just to give you an idea my bottom piece is two and a half inches by two and just under two and three quarter inches and the sentiment is just under two and a half so there's a sixteenth Sixteenth quarter of a quarter, of a, so there's a quarter of an inch difference between these two. So whatever your sentiment is, make your layer a quarter of an inch bigger. I'll just glue these together. I want to put these this sentiment on using foam pad. So to give it a a bit of a lift one two oh, we've got a little one left i'll put that in the middle take off the back in and then we can just decide where we want to put it i think actually i'll just put it at the bottom same as the the others so we'll just put that on as centered as possible and I have this little butterfly key like a I don't know what it is a charm like a charm with a bow on I had these given um so I, I can't tell you where they're from because I don't know but I was just going through my stash and thought Oh, that's nice. I'll put that on. So it did have a sticky back, um, but I've just added some extra glue just to make sure that it doesn't fall off. I don't want to give it to somebody and then in pieces. So I'll get some gems. Use these gems. And my pokey tool. And I think we'll go for silver. And I'll just put three three gems on. That one fell off. three shiny gems the last thing that we need to do is put our velcro on now i bought these velcro from amazon so let me see how big they are these are 
three quarters of an inch and you get your top and your bottom bit so i'm going to grab two together the top and the bottom now on these you've got like a, a rough side and a fluffy side so i'll pop that together i'm going to put the velcro right near the edge and then when you close it up and you see that the bottom bit will stick to the bottom give it a good press pull it apart again and then just give it a really good really good press down and there's our gift card pop it in it slides in nicely that doesn't want to stick so i'll just give that a press down and there's our sliding gift card holder So this is our video ended for today. Uh, if you like what you've seen today, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And ring if you ring the bell, then you'll get notified whenever I put another video out. So thank you very much for spending your time with me today. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.